Hey guys, Forsaken Reality here. In this one, we'll be integrating our climbing component that will be available on the marketplace soon to Easy Survival RPG. The process is fairly similar to our blank integration, but there's a few differences that we'll be making to do with the rotation and to do with the skeleton itself, because it, the current skeleton's in T pose. There's also a mannequin project, which you won't need to make the skeleton adjustments to, but for this one, you will. Um, this project also has a foot IK system built into it, so we won't need to set that up from ours. So I'll save us a little bit of time. So without further ado, I'll just show you the final result here. Or not this one. This will be the final result. You can mantle and climb everything properly. So without further ado, we will get into setting this up. So the first thing we're going to want to do is... I'm just going to close out of this one for now. first thing I want to do is go to our climbing component. I have it set up in 4.23, but you'll be able to get it in 4.23 through 4.27, but you can migrate the project upwards into another version like 4.26, and it shouldn't have any issues. So I'm just going to grab my climbing component, migrate it to my easy survival folder in my content folder and select that and all the files will be moving over once that's finished you can just close out of this first thing i'm going to do is go into my project settings here inputs action mappings and we're going to set up a new action mapping for climb and it's also going to be the space bar and that is good to go there in the list, we'll have our climbing component in here and easy survival RPG. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is go to our character skeleton, make the adjustments to the skeleton to get it in the correct position. Because right now we're in T pose and we want the Y pose skeleton. For the A pose. And meshes character mesh skeleton. And we also want to set our skeleton to humanoid. If you don't have the retirement manager opened, just click this in the window. And then select humanoids. So you'll want to look at the arms. You'll notice that the arms are a lot different than these ones. So the first thing we want to do is I'm going to bring these down 50. Or maybe I'll bring those back up. And I'm going to make an adjustment over here. Turn this to 5. And I'll bring them down 45. And for the lower arm, we're going to want to rotate it out some, so about 20. So we get that rotation here. And 20. And skeleton's arms are also brought up a little bit on this axis, so we'll bring it up 10. And the hands will bring down 15. So now we look like this. That's kind of resembling the mannequin there, basically, I believe. The arm positioning seems proper. 
So now you can just go into here, modify pose and use current pose. Now you'll notice that you have this pose set. Once you have this done, you're ready to retarget animations. Just gonna save, go to my climbing component. I guess I wanna go to my skeleton for this. Meshes character mesh. Target to another. Select the Jess skeleton. Select your target. And then that will retarget all the animations over for you. Should only take a moment. And I'm just going to save all. I don't think I need to do this. I'm just going to do it just in case. So now we have our animations. I'm just going to test them on. And they seem fine to me. I test one of the vaults. Yeah. Okay, so we have our animations retargeted. We are going to next want to close out of this. And blueprints, character, base, and our player character. So first thing we want to do is get our climbing component. And I'm just going to do the basic integration first, then I'll do the specific adjustments for the for easy survival RPG. So once you have your climbing component in here, we can just simply copy a few things out of our master character here. First thing you're going to want is your begin play. So that's an event graph, begin play. Select all of this and copy. Don't really need to sprint right now. And we'll paste this in. Or actually, before we do that, we're going to want to get our wall trace arrow. Paste that in. Put it up on the mesh. Change this to 50. And we'll also want to bring this back to minus 10 because our character is a little smaller. And now we have that done. Now you can copy this Control C, Control V. In play, and we're also going to want our add call to parent function so we get the begin play from the parent as well because that initializes up some things we're going to need. So now that we have this set up, we will want to grab our inputs, graph inputs. Copy this, and now let's go to my input graph here, paste this in here. That's our climbing input put in for spacefire. And one more thing, we want your land events. This is for that, which will play the landing roll animations and impact for a higher one. So I'm going to copy that. I'm just going to put that in my event graph here. Give a little comment so you know what it is. And usually that would be everything, but because there's going to be a few adjustments needed for this pack specifically for the rotation because they adjust the rotation in the character then we're going to need to make some adjustments for that i'm just going to load up my showcase map here and delete these guys so i can test here click 
play there. So I'm just gonna set my character to the character in there just so I can test with him. And here you'll start seeing some odd things happening. Like, uh, he doesn't adjust his rotation and stuff. So in order to do that, we will want to go into our character player and update character rotation. And I'm going to make a slight adjustment in the climbing component. So we go to our event graph and base wall. I'm just going to drag out of here. Type in return. Drag out of here and plug this in here. that the rotation target because that's the location we're going to be rotating to and we'll come into our character in here grab our climbing component we're going to check if we're climbing move this over to make some room here And if we're not climbing, we'll run the code normally. Select out of here. We got our face wall from our climbing component. And then we'll plug this in right here. So we get the face wall rotation target if we are climbing. Otherwise it'll play the normal rotation. I'm just going to try to organize this quickly for you. That'll work for now. You can organize it yourself after if you want. So that's the rotation settings adjusted and fixed up here. That's basically what this is doing. And now we can test this out again. it up on angles anymore. We're rotating the face to wall when we jump. And I'm just going to set up a quick automatic sprint check. Rather than checking this value, I'm going to be adjusting this so when you actually download this, this won't, this value won't be here, but will be set up differently. You can go into your event graph and on the landed event or in the moving check right here. 
You can grab this right here. And right grab first for check. Paste this in here. Then we can just put 500. Since our character's speed is set to 450, so if it's greater than 500, which will be for sure sprinting, because the sprint value goes above 500, then we'll be able to run automatic automatically. So I run up to the wall and he'll start automatic climbing. And everything seems to be working fine. We'll also be making some adjustments because I didn't take into account when I made the asset different, slightly different sized skeletons as well. You can adjust for it, but I haven't made the variables exactly to adjust for it. So basically right now, but well, when you get, download the asset, there will be a variable, which I will create a tutorial on how to use the asset and make adjustments to it. But for now, you'll want to look for your set player location. And this adjusts how high or low your character will be when it actually, when he actually reaches the wall. So you can just go, for example, jump climb. I know is one that I've tested that needs to be adjusted. And you can set this to around like 180. And now you'll notice your hands won't stick in the wall when you climb up anymore. And like I said, I will have variables that will be adjustable easily within the character once you go to your climbing component. But I only just thought about those when setting up this asset specifically. But that's going to be everything for this one. Um, if you have any questions or, su questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave those in the comment section below. And I will see you all in the next whatever I upload.